Faith Mas Faith Masiboko, you're live on News from Africa. Thank you so much for your time. We're, we're trying to run away also from the from from the level of noise that's taking place. I mean, one of you've had a message for the young people there, uh, saying that they must stay away from the sugar dates. But uh, what? Yes. No. Uh, what is important is that instead of always talking to ourselves as uh, elder women and elder men. It's about time now we start also engaging the young people. Because abuse also does happen amongst young people, and they think it's a normal way of life. I mean, to have a boyfriend that smokes weed and says to you, just give me 10 rand. When you say, I don't have 10 rand, he picks up a brick and threatens to hit you with that brick. Mm -hmm. That's tantamount to gender-based violence. And it's these things that we say young people must be able to pick them up. As young girls, yes, mtandelo, samsono wako, mtandelo, pracho wako. But also observe the signs. If he tells you, no, don't talk to your family, unga hambi nechomi yako, unga hambi nobanbai. Control also is taking place. These are signs that you must nurture. Who's big? As young men also, we do understand that some of them, they fall in love with young girls. Some of them may be coming from abusive families or abusive relationships. She comes, you are in love with her, and he does not see you as a real man because he thinks you are just a provider. And we say here, as young girls, young boys, they are equals. They must learn to understand and educate one another. And once we start these education programs at this age, it means young people won't grow up in a vicious cycle of abuse, but they'll be the ones that will assist us to help fight gender-based violence. And you see, one of the things that I've heard from one of the ladies that I was talking to was that some people are still not coming up when, when, when they are abused. In fact, in some families, when a person is raped, that is kept, you know, in families. Uh, what, how much of a problem is that for, for authorities? It is a very serious problem. Remember, domestic violence happens within the family household. Perhaps my question should be, how prevalent is it uh, when families don't keep things to themselves very and not raise it prevalent, to Very much prevalent. But even in 2022, even in 2022, you still have such families where even a young girl has been raped by an uncle and they say, no, 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 you can't shawla embuzi when a young woman has been uh, sexually violated. It means there's families now. Let's stop protecting each other. If one person has done wrong on these up-and-coming or growing young people, Tinabo auntie who live also with stepfathers, Tinabo malume basala nabo stepmother, let's also check all those signs. Talk to these young people that might be staying with you or ruba atop tile. No, but this thing to say, lo aksum tanam, I can do anything that I like, it's wrong. It means let us rally behind each other, assist one another, break the silence. Now was when in that family Luguti, there's a person that is being abused, speak out so that then that family is taken to task and let's educate one another. In 2020, Thank you so much. Faith Mazubuko is the Community Safety MEC here in Gauteng. Appreciate your time, MEC. Thank you very much.